Okay, part uh, part 18 of the truck project. Um, continuing along with the brake saga, I've uh, I've actually finished um, one side, the right side. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it panned out. Um, yeah, these are a, um, a Brembo uh, GXP or GPX caliper. They're the, the GM type caliper of Camaro and Commodore and such. I think Falcons have got them too. But anyway, yeah, that's the um, that's the Brembo caliper on a um, 400 and 343 uh, mil diameter rotor. Um, that's a HSV type rotor uh, onto a Jag XJ6 type spindle. So yeah, big brakes on a Jag upright. So anyway, as before, I said. Um, this thing's got chrome molly spindles in it, chrome molly stubs, um, which were slightly modified to um, work in with the, the Ford hub and bearings, but uh, it all panned out really well. And um, I'm very happy with the way it's uh, turned out now. It uh, fits up really nice, nice and centered. Um, looks brilliant on the, on the truck. And uh, yeah, so that's it, uh, basically. I had to, um, I just had to put uh, the original Jag caliper mounts uh, between the steering arm and the upright and bolts onto the top of this one here. So in this scenario, um, what's happened is that I've uh, drilled through the thread on the, uh, on the Jag upright um, with a slightly larger bolt. I think it's a half inch UNF type bolt and that has been uh, a, a thread has been cut into this um, 5 8 plate which sits um, just inside the rotor and everything uh, screws into that the steering arm the other um, the other bolt now the um, the caliper there's only one trick with this if you were to uh, take the rotors off you have to split the caliper um, basically just undo these four bolts and the capillary line which isn't there and um, take the rotor off but for, for maintenance purposes uh, the pads will come in and out of the top so yeah that'll that'll do um, underneath there it's got um, the the uh, I've got large very large cap screws that are, are screwed in from the underside into the caliper there so yeah, so that all panned out really well. Um, I've got a second one here. That's um, the brackets. Uh, the um, the brackets been drilled for the um, caliper at this point, but uh, until I, um, I it's, it's I've got to do the final fit up on this one. But anyway, these things, these threads here, they like I said, they're um, they're drilled through, they're threaded originally, but they're drilled through. And with the spaces off this other one, um, drilled and tapped into the plate, all tightened up really nice. So yeah, so like I said, fairly half inch UNF bolts going through, so that's pretty strong. Um, and uh, there's the arms, the suspension arms of uh, I've bent one, which was uh, quite a success. It, it panned out really well. Um, basically, uh, uh, stuck it in the press, um, 20 ton press with this huge lump of uh, solid round, whatever that is. It's, um, it's heavy. And uh, basically, um, give her a squeeze and around she went and happy days. So, um, never done anything like that before, but uh, yeah, that worked out pretty good. And um, I'll just show you a quick look at the um, the bracketry for the uh, hollow section tubular sway bar. Now um, that's yeah, it's got plenty of light. So yeah, so that marries up to the frame there. Um, what I've done, it's, I've put it through, a, a, the whole thing goes through a solid tube 
and um, that's got a, a mounting point underneath the chassis as well. So, but these um, these three bolts here, um, they're, they're the, the same bolts are on the other, the same holes are on the other side. They're the original um, steering box uh, holes uh, when the chassis came out of the factory. So, and these things are drilled for left and right hand drive from the factory so I've just used these three bolts and um, I think this bolt down here that was the forward uh, bolt for the um, forward bolt for the rear spring hanger so I've used that too I haven't drilled I actually haven't drilled any holes in the chassis uh, extra holes for this and uh, this hole up here is basically a, um, a factory hole as well that holds on there's a there's a tin panel there and that's part of the mounting for that. Um, so anyway, yeah, so yeah, I've bent this bar. Um, it panned out really good. Um, I've, I've put one inch increments on it. So basically um, it was a trial and error type thing. So basically bend it a little, check it on the truck, bend it a little bit more, roll the, roll the die back a bit, press it again until I got to where um, until I got to where I was happy with it. Um, clearance is really good. I've, I've mocked the whole thing up with the um, upright and the rotor and the caliper and, and steering clearance is good. Um, nothing, uh, no interference, no binding. So yeah, all, so, all good so far. Um, and just, just for interest, what I've done here, I've just tacked a plate on the back here. That's, um, that is, uh, on the, the JAG base plate, the bump stop base plate spring retainer on these things. And what I've done is I've, um, I've just tacked that on just for interest um, to try and get my alignment um, with, the, with the arm. So the, the theory is that the, um, the helm joint will run from behind the arm down to this and also to um, what I intend to do is have uh, a second plate uh, welded to that bottom steel plate so the, the helm joint will be um, fastened between those two plates and, and that, that should still have enough clearance to uh, dodge the spring and, and, um, and not, uh, not interfere with the um, lower control arm when it's totally bottomed out. So yeah, so that's that's the theory at this stage. Um, yeah, it's been a lot of work. So, but anyway, it's um, it's it's pretty much what I imagined it was going to be. Um, I'm pretty happy with it all. Um, what else have I done? Oh, that's what I've done. I'll just show you this quick. Um, what I did, I had some, uh, I had some uh, like uh, just saddles just hanging off the original engine block and it made it difficult to um it was good for the engine to stand statically on the ground or on the bench but basically um for uh alignment issues trying to get this thing to the right angle and uh and such i ended up building this um this uh contraption out of uh, a bit of junk basically it's got threaded rods at both sides a little bit of c a little bit of c channel hangs over the um, edge of the frame and uh, in the center there's a square tube that runs through a, a larger section square tube so I can I can knock this thing from left to right to um, get the um, the center line correct and also to um, both sides of this I can there's a nut at the bottom of that threaded rod so I can I can just screw this thing um, up or down as as the um, as the um, as needed to get the um, dusty um, get the angle right so at the moment it's sitting at about five degrees four and a half five degrees so um, that's uh, that's where that's at at the moment and um, also too that um, if I choose to I can uh, I can basically slide this up fore and aft up and down the the, um, the, the chassis rail so I haven't I'm, I'm pretty confident this is where it's going to remain now but uh, who knows? I could change my mind and move it up for some reason, but but yeah, I can move the engine fore and aft, left and right, up and down with this um, 
this contraption bit of junk I built up out of um, the steel pile. Um, so yeah, so it's um, it's actually been really good. It's been a big help. Um, what I might try and do, I'll just put the camera down and I'll just throw this um, I'll just throw this upright on just to um, just to uh, show you what that looks like and um, I'll probably call it a day for uh, was it part 18 of uh, the truck project. So I'll just put the I'll just put the camera down. Try not to drop it this time so I don't damage the focus. Ooh. Yeah, so that's the that's the front side of it, re-drilled from the, the holding pattern. Um, so yeah, there you go. So that's it. That's uh, that's that whole assembly um, on the truck now. Um, so yeah, this um, I'm pretty confident this thing's going to stop. And anyway, with the um, with the with the uh, sway bar, basically that is. Um, let's have to do it this way. Yeah, so I'm hoping, I well, say so that's quite bottomed out now, so, um, yeah, so that uh, that will link up with the bottom control arm, and uh, there's no binding in that, misses everything, so, just turn that up there like that, so that's, that's how that works. Um, yeah, misses the misses the um, bottom steering arm and all that, so that's uh, that's good. This is all that, so yeah, yeah. God, that thing's heavy. But anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for part eighteen of the truck project. I'll um, I'll knock up this this second. Uh, his second upright soon, next couple of days. I'd, I drilled the disc today um, over to the Ford pattern and uh, 
I'll um, I'll do the bracket and the spaces in the next um, day or so, and um, that one can be together. And then I'll uh, I'll basically I'll I'll bend the second arm the same as the first, and uh, that's pretty much the um, the front suspension knocked up. And then I'll I'll probably head towards working on the I don't know the steering column or something else next. I just don't know, but Anyway, for now, that's uh, that'll do for part 18. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go have a rest. That was heavy. All right, cheers.